The night Botham Jean was shot in his own apartment, the shooter, Amber Geiger, a now fired Dallas police officer, was being escorted into a squad car. What happened next would be the subject of an evidence tampering case against Mike Mata, the president of the Dallas Police Association. On Tuesday, a grand jury did not indict him. That is attorney-client privilege, just like every other citizen, and you cannot record that. This interview was done days after Geiger's conviction. He instructed Geiger not to talk to anyone and had another sergeant turn off the in-car camera. Mata calls that policy. Daryl Washington, the civil attorney for the Jean family, calls it preferential treatment. There is great public trust that's been violated, and the public wants to know that police officers aren't protecting police officers. Washington talked with Botham's mother late this evening. They are shocked and frustrated. We asked if what was seen and said inside that police car would have changed the outcome. He says yes. Geiger was sentenced to 10 years. The public and the jury got a chance to see a, a, a sympathetic uh, Amber Geiger. Uh, they did not get a chance to see someone who we believe was, was prepped, someone we believe was coach, and, and to, to make in certain statements. Mata made a statement through his attorney. Their decision not to indict just confirms what we have known since September of 2018. Mike Mata did nothing wrong. Protecting the constitutional rights of police officers is part of his job. His actions that night were consistent with DPD policy as well as the Bill of Rights. The Botham Jean family is still calling for Mike Mata's resignation. We're sure his answer will be the same from October. I will not resign as president of the Dallas Police Association. In Dallas, I'm Joden Panikker.